when it comes to hydration, most athletes think about what they're going to drink during activity. But how well hydrated you are at the start can have a huge impact on your performance. Eating a lot of carbohydrate or carb loading to store energy in your muscles before the start is a universally accepted tactic that most athletes use to boost their performance but you can't apply the same principles of carb loading to taking on water in the days building up to a race. Drinking too much plain water in the build up to an event is likely to leave you in the long queue for the portaloo, and if you really overdo it, it can lead to a very nasty condition called hyponatremia. Hyponatremia is a condition when you drink too much plain water and lower the blood sodium levels, and it's surprisingly common in endurance athletes. Studies in 2014 and 2016 at the Spartathlon in Greece and also at Ironman Frankfurt showed that over 10% of athletes on the start line were already showing signs of mild hyponatremia. The only explanation for that is that they drank too much of this in the build-up. On the flip side, there are studies that show that some athletes routinely turn up to training and competition without having drunk enough overall. One study looked at 400 athletes and found that 33% of them actually turned up to training already in a dehydrated state, so they weren't able to perform at their best. So if it's possible to both overdo and underdo the fluid you have before exercise, how do you actually start optimally hydrated? Well, part of the answer to that is in understanding electrolyte balance, particularly sodium balance, and what sodium does to fluid retention in the body. We know a lot about what fluid retention sodium causes because of work that was done by NASA on astronauts. Astronauts routinely suffer from dehydration in space. That causes low blood pressure and can cause them to black out. So NASA were very incentivized to find out what you needed to put into a drink to keep someone optimally hydrated. What their study showed was that putting lots of sodium into a drink helps the fluid to be retained in the bloodstream and helps keep blood pressure up. Now that is exactly the effect that athletes also want before starting an activity. The interesting thing about the drinks that NASA developed was that they used over 3,300 milligrams of sodium per litre, which is excellent for retaining fluid, but also makes them taste like seawater and potentially gives you GI distress and diarrhea, not something you want before the start of an event. So sports scientists looking at the optimal composition of drinks for athletes have typically found that something around 1500 milligrams of sodium per litre is far more appropriate for when you're preloading before an event. It gives you enough sodium so that you can retain that fluid in the bloodstream without the risk of the unwanted GI side effects. The act of taking in additional fluid and sodium before exercise is called preloading. And the ideal sodium preloading protocol starts usually the night before an event, if it's a morning start, and then finishes about 90 minutes before the gun goes off. What we tend to recommend is that you take one serving of something like pH 1500, that contains 1500 milligrams of sodium per litre. You take 500 milliliters of that, which is about 16 ounces, the night before, and then repeat that on the morning of the event, making sure that you finish it 90 to maybe 45 minutes before the start, so you can absorb as much as you need, you can get that boost to your blood volume and pee out any excess. The key thing to remember is that you're not taking sodium preload on top of lots and lots of additional water. You should just drink normally and then use those preloads as a final top off to get your blood sodium levels up, to get that water into the bloodstream and make sure that you start whatever you're doing optimally hydrated. <laughs>